Hey everybody, Steve here in the Illinois store. Gonna show you a video today and I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures. Noah's gonna walk through and, and show you this kit. It's a beautiful, beautiful Trixon kit. And what's the scoop on Trixon? As some of you know, I've had kits like this before. This particular set is incredibly beautiful and clean. It's ridiculous. It is very, very rare in that it has the, what we call gold croco finish. But let me talk to you a little bit about Trixon overall. Made in uh, West Germany, of course, and these were beach shells, and they were very, very well-made drums. Now, they did do some wild and crazy stuff, like an egg-shaped bass drum and conical-shaped drums and all of that stuff, but bottom line is they made some great drums. This is a great kit in the traditional configurations, so no funny, weird drums. 9 by 13, 16 by 16, 14 by 20, 5 by 14 snare drum. And the finish is called uh, Gold Croco, because it looks kind of like a crocodile skin, for lack of a better word. And they had different types of finishes. This finish is almost never seen, and to be so clean, it's, it's actually ridiculously clean. Uh, I'll point out a few things about this type of a finish. Like if you look on, the, on this bass drum here, you see these little plastic, gray plastic rings around the lugs. Those are plastic. What you typically see on drums from this era, this is 60s, these are cracked because they get brittle over time. They just get cracked and, and break. Same is true for these knobs that are tone control knobs. There is a tone control on the, to on the top, uh, on the ba uh, batter side and on the resonance side. There's a tone control on the toms as well and on the snare drum. But those little plastic knobs are often broken. This particular set has one replacement inlay on the back, drum, back hoop. It's not original inlay at all, no inlay, but it still has gold croco inlay on the front. Uh, everything on it is correct. It's super clean. The chrome is beautifully clean. Uh, all of the plastic gaskets, like I mentioned, are all there and intact. And the finish, of course, is extremely, extremely rare. Now, we take a look. I'll let Noah come over here. We'll show you the snare drum. One of the things on the snare drum, uh, they used to use for this strainer mechanism, the piece right here, there were plastic pieces used on one of the strainers, and those were very, very prone to breaking. Uh, this particular one has the later metal pieces, which is great. Now, these snare wires are different. They were uh, modified to fit. Uh, the one thing I didn't like about their snare wires was they had a plastic tab here instead of a metal tab, so they didn't work real well. Now, this strainer is a parallel release, so it releases on both sides at the same time. The, uh, the butt side is somewhat similar. There's a tension knob adjustment on each side, a little brass knob on each side. So then the snares are off, it lever levers down here, and when the snares are up, the handle is up here. Now this particular strainer is going to need a little bit of work because it's not engaging quite properly. So that's something that someone would be able to fix. But the beauty of this is that it's so pristine and clean. This is really a collector kit. This is not something you're going to take out and gig with. Uh, I'll show you one little thing on the 13 here. On this particular drum, one of the uh, tension knobs for the tone control, for the bottom tone control, is missing. But that can, those can be found. Those are not that hard to find. Those can be found. But this is exactly the way we got the kit. It is so clean, I just don't know what else to say. So this is absolutely, completely a collector set. 60s era tricks on gold croco finish. The chrome is immaculate. The finish is incredibly clean, no scratches on it at all. 9 by 13, 16 by 16, 14 by 20, 5 by 14 snare drum. It's even got the symbol L arm, and it even has the Trixon snare drum stand. So this is one that you'll see up on our Reverb store. And this one, again, it's a collector piece. This is not for gigging. Don't be trying to gig with this kit. Just put this up, and uh, we, you get that strainer adjusted a little bit so it's working well, and you'll be in great shape. This is a stunning, stunning kit, and we're really thrilled to have it in here.